What's up guys, I'm Landry Long, and I'm here to teach you about aperture, or depth of field, in 60 seconds. At first, trying to understand aperture may seem difficult, but here's an easy way to look at it. A large aperture is a result of a small f-stop number, such as f2.8 or f4. This means that the camera lens is wide open, allowing more light to come through. When the camera has more light to work with, it creates a shallow depth of field. This picture with the 50mm lens at f-stop 2.8 has a nice blurred background, keeping the focal attention on the first candle in the row. A small aperture is a result of a high f-stop number, such as f16 or f22. This means that the camera lens is nearly closed, only allowing a little amount of light to come through. With less light to work with, the camera shot will result in a greater depth of field. This picture with the same 50mm lens, but at a much higher f-stop, results in the whole picture nearly being in focus. If you compare the two pictures, you can see the big difference. But really, what's the purpose? A shot with a shallow depth of field that switches focus from the foreground to the background, or vice versa, can be very effective in switching the focus of what the viewer is supposed to be looking at, or focused on. It can enhance any project by adding more cinematic value, but be careful, because sometimes overusing it can have a negative effect on your viewer. I'm Landry Long, and that was Aperture in 60 Seconds.